Now let's talk about some examples on atoms and neutrons and protons and all that science fiction stuff. Now let's see. We previously took sodium as an example. Now, before we begin this, I just want to point out something I didn't mention in the last video, which is the notation on how to write the atomic mass and the atomic number. Well, if you have an element, let's say an element X, we denote the atomic mass by A and the atomic number by Z. So, the A is let's write this so the a is the atomic mass and the z is the atomic number okay now let's see in the periodic table it's usually written the atomic number first like here in chlorine the atomic number would be written first and the mass would be under the element so don't get confused when we write the notation of elements we write it this way now let's take an example well let's take chlorine so how do we write chlorine we write cl and then the mass is on top so 35.5 and the atomic number is 17. So this is how we write chlorine. Now, let me ask you this. What's the number? So, what's the number of protons? Well, in the last video, we said the number of protons is the atomic number. And where is the atomic number? This is the atomic number. So the number of protons is 17. Let me ask you another question, which is the number of electrons. What's the number of electrons? And we denote it by e to the, to the negative sign. What's the number of electrons? We said the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. So it's also 17. Now let me ask you another question. What's the number of neutrons? Now this is kind of tricky. We said that the atomic mass, which is this one, is basically the sum of protons plus neutrons so this is not neutrons alone this is neutrons plus protons and the atomic number is the number of protons so can we subtract to get the number of neutrons yes so what do we do we subtract the a which is the atomic mass from the z we, sorry we subtract the atomic number which is the Z from the A. Now, this would give us 35.5 minus 17. Now, if you have a calculator beside you and do the math, let's see what's, what's this. So it's 35.5 minus 17, which is gonna give us 18.5. So 18.5 is the number of neutrons. Now let's take another example to clarify this more so in order for us to become experts. Now let's take magnesium and how do we write the notation? The mass first which is the A so 24.3 and the atomic number is 12 which is the Z. Now what is the number of protons? blindly without thinking is the atomic number which is 12 what's the number of electrons blindly without thinking is the same as protons now lastly what's the number of neutrons well we subtract the z from the a which which is subtracting the atomic number from the atomic mass so 24.3 minus 12 which would give us 12.3 neutrons. So I hope this video made everything clear for you guys and how will the examiner is gonna ask you in the exam about the science fiction stuff. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk more about atomic chemistry and isotopes in the next video. So good luck and thanks for watching.